For some park visitors, a cliffside is an overlook, perhaps worth walking near the edge for a better perspective. For others, it's a challenge, not just another outdoor element to admire, but to conquer. Iowa may not be a rock climbing destination, but it does feature opportunities for a variety of skill levels. Do you see the chalk griffin right up there? There you are. You expect to see avid rock climbers in Colorado or Utah, but Iowa? Keep going, you're doing good. There's a very active climbing community in our state, and it's growing year by year. Iowa's rocks are even attracting climbers from other states in the upper Midwest. We breed a lot of climbers in Iowa. You know, we're a close-knit community, and, uh, and, we, and we work hard at being good at what we've got. You know, you can't always, uh, you can't always choose where you live. <laughs> and you make the best with what you've got. And we've got a lot right here, uh, so we're pretty lucky. This is one of the most popular rock climbing destinations in Iowa. The steep limestone bluffs that line the river valley at Pictured Rocks near Camp Courageous in Monticello in eastern Iowa. When I climb, I don't have to worry about anything else. I come out here and, you know, you don't, your brain doesn't want to fall, uh, whether you're on, on a top rope or not. So it focuses on what's absolutely happening right now. And, and that's, that's, you know, it's hard to, hard place to get. So that's, that's what I like about it. Ben Kasky and his wife Meredith have been climbing for almost 20 years. Their two kids, 10-year-old Olivia and 6-year-old Griffin, pretty much grew up climbing and have grown to love it just as much as their parents. You know, it's been a part of all of our lives and uh, it's, it's changed our lives, you know, in, in a million ways. Um, and now, you know, our, our kids are going to do it and they're going to show people how to do it. Ben also teaches climbing to students at the University of Iowa. Students start on the indoor climbing wall and then transfer those skills outdoors at places like Pictured Rocks. Eric Knobloch, who learned to climb when he was a student at the University of Northern Iowa, is sharing his skills to students at Wartburg College. Wartburg's got a climbing wall. Um, it's been kind of underutilized for the first uh, few years that we've been open. And so one of the things that I'm trying to do is really revitalize the, the climbing wall program and then offer uh, opportunities to our students to, to get out and not just rock climb but all different types of uh, outdoor activities you know get some fresh air and and then that way when they get back to the college they're they're recharged and ready to go that's what it's all about is is doing something fun and and getting out there and experiencing the outdoors I like how it's not a it's not like any other sport for me it's just me and the rock pretty much and I can take it as far as I want to Sometimes there's barely enough for a finger or two to grab hold, or the tip of a toe to fit into the side of the rock and push you up. You know, we're not considered a world-class destination like the New River Gorge or Red River Gorge or something like that, but uh, um, the, what we do have is quality. And, you know, within a small area, there's a lot to do. One way beginners can learn is by starting indoors at a gym like Climb Iowa and Grimes. Some climbers only climb indoors, and for others, combining indoor and outdoor climbing is a way to stay active year-round. I, I climb because of the challenge. Um, it's overcoming obstacles, it's problem solving, it's my fear of heights. It helped with my fear of heights when I started climbing 16 years ago. So Kelly, here's your harness. You want the orange loop in front. You're going to put it on like a pair of pants. One foot goes With a simple 10-minute orientation, you're ready to climb. So I decided, why not give it a try? Just go. <laughs> don't, forget, uh, don't forget to use your legs. A lot of people, when they're first climbing, they just use their arm strength. Uh -huh. So remember that your legs have muscles too, and you want to make sure you use those too. Okay. All right, here we go. And then just step up. Aha. Very nice. There it is. Yikes. Nice job. <laughs> OK. So what did you think? That was so fun. I, <laughs> I kept trying to use my legs more than my arms. But then there were times when the more spread out things yeah. got, the more I would reach and then realize I had to pull myself up. So I mean, it's, it's a really exciting oh, yeah. challenge. It's a great workout. Oh, yes. I it, mean. Yep, I'm going to be feeling that later. <laughs> Climbing can be for anyone, from young kids to senior citizens. 
It's as challenging as you want to make it. We're doing our best to start kids young, and we have a very successful climbing team of kids that start as young as four and five years old that will hopefully be lifelong climbers. And so anybody can do it, it's just whether you want to or not, and then having the knowledge to set up a safe system is what is the important part. So having someone who can teach you, um, especially on an outdoor setting, like what is the safe way to do it to make sure that nobody gets hurt. At Pictured Rocks, the rock is already safely bolted for climbers, thanks to cooperation between the Iowa Climbers Coalition and the Jones County Conservation Board. The Iowa Climbers Coalition helps maintain the routes and works to build relationships and advocate for increased access for climbers in other areas of the state. We only have so many places to climb in, uh, in, in our area, so we have to kind of um, make friends with the right people to, to, to be able to do that. And, working on new places to climb. There's, there's more good rock in Iowa. It's just not, you know, it's private property or it's, you know, climbing's not allowed there. So uh, just building uh, a climbing community in a state that, um, you know, that isn't necessarily known for climbing. The picturesque surroundings, supportive community, and physical and mental challenges of climbing make it a great way to enjoy the Iowa outdoors.